Well, no increase here when it comes to the weather. Nope. Down <laughs> is the only way we're going to go after our first snow of the season. Which was beautiful, John Milan. It certainly was. I remember last week we were talking about when are we going to get our first measurable snow? Uh, we average October 28th for the trace, and November 14th for measurable, and December 2nd for the first one inch. Well, we've gotten everything done with this last weekend's uh, storm, Sunday especially. Uh, November 19th, we had the trace, and yesterday we got our first inch and we got our first measurable snowfall. Here are just a few of those snowfalls. Kewaskum, four and a half inches. Sturdivant, also four and a half. Uh, four inches, New Berlin into uh, Jefferson in Jefferson County. Hartford, 3.6. Mequon, three and a half. Plymouth, Greendale, Franklin, all around three inches. Officially out at the airport, though, 1.8 inches of new snowfall. High temperatures today in the 30s. These temperatures out to the west, 39. La Crosse and the Twin Cities, those will roll in for tomorrow. And then it's going to get cold. It's 34 right now. That'll be a heat wave compared to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 31 is your dew point. So dew point's very close to that temperature with those southerly winds and the snow on the ground. We could see some fog develop a little later on tonight. 30 in Waukesha, 32 West Bend, also Burlington and Lake Geneva and Whitewater. Those temperatures won't change all that much overnight tonight. We've been watching this little band of light snow and flurries and even some sleet and rain mixed in. Uh, all of it moving away from our neck of the woods and pushing up towards Wausau and Rylander and just clouds hanging around overnight tonight. So a low pressure system rolls in our direction. Actually, it drags a front in our direction. This low will go up into southern Canada. Could see a sprinkle tomorrow afternoon or flurry, but all in all, it's just bringing in the cold, and that'll happen tomorrow night and into Wednesday with a little sunshine. Temperatures, though, only in the mid-20s for highs. So for tonight, 31 degrees, relatively mild for this time of the year. Some patchy fog starts to develop later on. Uh, winds will be light out of the south and southeast. South to westerly winds for tomorrow, so later in the day that front starts pushing through. Could see fog in the morning hours, mostly cloudy for the rest of the day in 37. And it gets cold into Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies, windy also. West winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll see wind chills in the upper teens. High only 26. Colder than that Thursday, Friday. Thursday, mostly cloudy 24, 21 with some sunshine into Friday and then into the weekend we start out in the 20s, 25 degrees with some light snow showers developing through the area. 30 on Sunday, looks pretty decent for the Packer game on Sunday up at Lambeau, uh, no rain or snow. And then Monday, 34. But those temperatures being that low will give the tundra a chance to freeze. freeze. up a little bit, yes. It, it could actually be the frozen tundra. Mm -hmm. John, thank you. Coming up in sports,